I love my life. You know? <laughs> life is great. Uh, okay, so this is my camera right now. I'm currently filming on my phone. I know it's not like the best quality because it's on my phone, but this is what we got to work with today, guys, okay? Um, it is working. It's just the audio. I noticed it on the vlog before. When I was editing, I was like, yo, what the heck? And I was like, I already filmed this and it's going to be super fake if I like try to fake the video of me trying Taco Bell for the first time. Because on the last video, if you guys saw, that was a video of me trying Taco Bell for, for, very, for the very first time. And it was actually me trying Taco Bell for the very first time. Like I never ever tried Taco Bell in my life. And I did not want to refilm that video because like I said, I don't want to do those fake videos anymore. So I, it would be stupid. So this is... This is what we gotta work with. Um, <laughs> uh, the, it's, it still kind of works, but the thing is that, like, look, it, it still kind of works. Like, yo, this is me looking at you. Ah! But it's just the audio is trash. If you guys saw the video from like two days ago, of me trying to talk about for the very first time, yeah, <laughs> it's trash. It's it, the the audio was terrible. Anyways. Um, today guys, I decided to do a little bit of an easy video, a story time. I haven't done a story time video in so, so long, um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give us a big thumbs up, subscribe for new human notifications if you guys are new for these inconveniences in life. Um, if anybody wants to, um, I don't know, fund for a new camera, <laughs> hit up my DMs. My Instagram will be somewhere around the screen, or should I just put it there? Yo, it's popping. Yo, go follow that. Um, but yeah, I need a new camera. I might buy it tomorrow or today or later today probably because I'll be out but I'm broke guys so yeah if you want to fund up my camera or like you know maybe I'll start a start a fundraiser or something a GoFundMe I don't know <laughs> anyways guys let's begin this video so today's story time is going to be about the time there was a little bit of a love triangle well not really it was me chasing after the guy and one of my very, very close friends at the time kind of took the guy to herself. It, it, it's just, it, it, it's, 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 that's, that's the tea. That you, um, you had, you, you. I think I forgot my English. <laughs> Anyways, guys, give this a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's begin the story. Okay, guys, so this story began when I was in sixth grade. Now, me and this particular friend we were very very close like literally like we were like we were best friends and um my only friend <laughs> now i'm playing guys but we were very very close at the time by the way guys we are still friends till this day but not as close as we used to be back in middle school so anyways there was this new cute guy that literally nobody knew who this guy was like this middle school everybody knew each other i knew everybody they knew me like we don't even have to be friends like we all knew each other in some somehow some point some way even if people don't know my name or i don't know their name like we know each other by face you know what i'm saying no bro it was like the movies this guy walked in super tall everybody was like yo what the heck literally owned a school and he's already been here for a second and when i say that i mean like all the guys wanted to be friends with him and all the girls wanted him it was literally like the movies guys you know in the movies when like there's like that new kid or that new girl or something and like everybody just instantly falls in love with them just because they're super good looking yeah he was that kid in the movies it was weird because nobody knew who he was he moved from somewhere completely different where you know obviously no one knew who he was in my middle school but anyways guys Either way, I had a huge and major crush on him. And obviously, as one does, I told my best friend at the time. I would like literally be on the phone with her be like, yo, this guy's just so cute, bro. Like, yo, let me have him. Like, date me, man. Like, what's good with you, cuz? I understand why now. But I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why we were having this conversation about how much I really liked the guy at the time. If she had... A crush on him as well because i'm gonna get to the juicy part in a second i a few months later we started noticing he was getting very touchy with my best friend and he was also getting very flirtatious so we would literally after school we would literally talk about it be like yo 
what if he likes you? You know what I'm saying? And she also got the feeling that he might have a crush on her. I mean, listen. She was a baddie, I right? She still is a baddie. <laughs> Yo, um, ex-best friend, if you're watching this, what's poppin'? <laughs> I honestly wanted to, you know, hype her up a little bit. Maybe that's my fault, but I wanted to hype her up a little bit. And I wanted to, you know, be that good best friend and be like, oh my god, what if he actually does like you? Like, we were both hyping it up. Um, literally, guys, would I tell you? Okay, this is such middle school of us, but... Literally, guys, we would go on YouTube, search up how do you know if a guy likes you, and literally, this guy, let's name him John, this guy John, would literally show every single one of the signs towards her. Not towards any girl, as we may know, but towards her. And so, we were literally like- <laughs> In my head, I'm like, he better not like you. And in her mind, she's like, oh my god, he, I think he likes me, he's showing all the signs that the video said like now obviously like we don't do that we don't like yo do you like me or not boom boom okay let's date but back then we used to literally watch videos if the guy actually likes the girl like how do you know if a girl likes me or guy or whatever and guess what ladies and gentlemen he liked her this is probably the most middle school thing that this guy did to try to ask my friend out i don't think people do this anymore but <laughs> he literally asked one of his friends he gave a note to his friend and asked his friend can you go and basically put me on and so his friend went over to my best friend and basically told my best friend hey so he really likes you and gave you this note he wants to know if you want to be his girlfriend when i tell you that i was so jelly at that point and i was just so salty that this was happening to her not to me like i wasn't trying to be a bad friend or anything it was just like yo i liked him first man I was like what the hell and so obviously I wanted to seem like a really really good friend and obviously I didn't want to be a bad best friend So I was like, yeah, you should totally go for it Like you should like yeah, like go do it Like I was trying to hype her up so much because I didn't want to seem like you know I don't want to seem like that. I just didn't want to seem jealous. Okay. I didn't want to seem jealous I didn't want to seem like a bad friend telling her no don't go with this opportunity da, da, da. Like he was literally like all the girls were over him. So the fact that my best friend got him and I didn't a little depressed you know it's fine it's fine i'm gonna be single forever <laughs> relationship just got very very toxic like every single day that we saw each other at school it was just not good like every single conversation that we had was about him which was not good obviously like literally this guy right this one guy that she really liked and I also really liked this one guy was just like putting up a pressure and putting a little a hold on our friendship like we couldn't have one conversation that wasn't normal anymore like every single time even we would when we would try to avoid the conversation about him it always ended up about him or like it was just very awkward and like we were just acting as if we did something to each other like it was just like uh, it was just very very bad like literally he was the pressure of our friendship he literally almost tore us apart and this guy was always so mean to me too like i guess because she was telling him like yo she does not want us to be together blah blah blah, blah that every single time i would even try to talk to him he would not want to be surrounded by me he did not want to be around me and the only reason that he was is because she was there and she was like hey she's my best friend blah blah she would defend me i'm not gonna lie and every time we would talk about it she would be like well he's my first boy boyfriend you know like I just you know he's my first boy and I understood it but I'm like I get it but at the same time like I'm your best friend I've known you for longer like what's 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 popping what's good like why, why I want him not you like and I would always be like well I liked him first so I called dibs since the beginning and now you got the dibs like yo what's what's popping what's going on but gladly guys there is happily ever after for us, not for him, <laughs> but you know, for us, there, there was a happily ever after. He moves a lot, um, and thankfully, but it, can I help? As I was saying, guys, he moves a lot. So uh, by the time we hit seventh grade, he moved, and uh, let's just say my best friend, you know what I'm saying, my bestie at the time, and John, John, <laughs> they didn't work out over the summer. 
um, and so they broke up, and so we finally got back to our normal friendship, like, we didn't have a guy between us that we both really liked, we, di we didn't really have that barrier, and we were finally in a good place, you know what I'm saying, we were finally good, we were chilling, Scoochie. and that's pretty much it, moral of the story, guys, is, don't let a guy, or a girl, if you guys are guys, I don't know, uh, anybody, to come between your guys' friendship, you know what I'm saying? Like, as corny as it sounds, friendship is forever, really. Friendship it really is forever. If you really care about somebody, um, friendship is forever. Relationships, however, are not. Unless you're getting married to the person and you're committing your life to them, that's a completely different story. Um, or maybe even if you're with somebody for like more than two years and I would say, okay, I understand. But at the same time, you know, if you just became boyfriend or girlfriend with anybody, um, literally just a second ago, like, you're not gonna let that person come between your friendship, someone you've known literally your whole life, like, that's just messed up. And yeah, that's the moral of the story, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the story in some way. I haven't done story times in so, so long, mainly because I'm very bad at storytelling. But I hope you guys get the gist of this, and I want you guys to get something from this, you know what I'm saying, and learn something from this. Um, that's why I love doing story times, is that like, so you guys could learn from me, um, from my past mistake. I mean, I want to say this is really a mistake, but you know, try to get something and learn something from each one of my stories, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see more story times. Anyways, y'all, I hope I can get this fixed soon, or I might just have to buy a new one, which I'm really, really avoiding. Um, but anyways, I'll be ending this video right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If y'all did, make sure you guys do give this a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe if you new, hit notifications if you guys are new. And yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to smile and don't forget to stay positive. And don't forget to work hard, beautiful people. And I'll see you guys on Monday for a brand new video. And peace! I'm starting a GoFundMe. So, DM me. <laughs>